Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Battle Flick Season 2 tournament. We have a uh, first round matchup, the last play in matchup of the tournament. You have the eight seed, uh, Michael Schumacher Ski Club versus the nine seed, the Killers. Both teams have not played in, I think, at least over a month. So um, they've been itching to play. Here we are, finally got them. Uh, Marcus, you guys are coming in at one and two. Uh, one and one as a complete team, though, if I believe. I think you guys were 0 and 1. Yeah. How are we feeling? I feel great. I feel great, inshallah. <laughs> Will, how are we doing down there? Ready to, ready to get another win today? Feeling rest, relaxed, and ready to win. Love to hear it. Uh, now, on the other side, we have our only winless team remaining in the tournament. The other team, no brains, no headache, who is actually the only team that the ski club has beaten has been eliminated. Uh, the Killers, 0-2 on the season, haven't played in maybe two months at this point. We've been, it's been a scheduling nightmare, but Decade. teams show up in the tournament. We'll see what happens. Cam, how are we feeling? Um, I feel good. Uh, I just feel – I mean – I'm kind of like not good at this game, to be honest. Like, we'll, 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 like, let's just run it. <laughs> Lindsay, uh, you feel confident after that response from Cam? Um, I feel locked in. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> Love that. I've said it's a good trend. There's been a, a handful of players who seem to uh, just not be good at movie trivia. It's, just, <laughs> it's a very interesting dynamic in this league, but uh, we, we move forward. So, uh, if there's no questions from you guys, I will run through the rules real quick if someone's watching for the first time. Uh, we're going to have 10 rounds of trivia, 20 questions total, plus a plot twist question in the middle. Teams will have 30 seconds to answer, 15 seconds for a steal, two points for a correct answer, one point for a correct steal. After round five, we'll have the plot twist question. Uh, it'll be one question. They'll rattle off as many answers as possible. Whoever gets the most will get two points for their team. There are three lifelines. Uh, you can see them on the screen. You have your steal, uh, or sorry, no, you have your uh, what am I? I'm all over the place. You have your lock, friend. your double take, and your phone a friend. Um, I'm a little rusty as well, but yeah. So your lock, you can lock an answer before uh, the other team gets a chance to steal. Phone a friend, obviously, you just call someone and double take. You can give two answers. Any questions from you guys before we get started here? Nope. All right, ready to rock. Tournament time. Winner advances to play the number one overall seed and advances to the quarterfinals. We're going to start with general trivia. The ski club is going to go first. They are the higher seed. And uh, we'll start with general trivia. 30 seconds once I'm done reading the question. Oh, sorry. Showed up for a second. Uh, who were the two lead actresses in the 2003 movie Freaky Friday? 30 seconds. You know this. Dude, I've never seen Freaky Friday. I don't even know what Freaky I, Friday's about. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure one of them's redheaded. Do you know what it's about? Yeah, they, don't they switch they switch lives? It's like a mother and daughter and they switch lives or something like that? I thought that was Twitch. No. Uh, we're gonna say uh, I know I think Lindsay Lohan might be one. I don't know. Sure, There's Lindsay Lohan. One. Lindsay Lohan and uh Jane Lynch. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan and Jane Lynch is incorrect. 15 seconds to the other side. Um, it's Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, I knew that too. Let's go. Final answer. answer. Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis yeah. is correct. Jane Lynch, I feel like weirdly isn't a bad guess. No, no I both, that, both I have short hair. Weird, yeah. Which one is Jane Lynch? <laughs> Jane Lynch is the Glee uh, teacher. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Big fan. That is a good guess. Um, but that is a steal for the killers. They are <laughs> one to nothing. Chance to sweep the category with a similar question. What actor and actress were the featured couple in 10 Things I Hate About You? 30 seconds. I got this. It's Julia uh, Stiles and Heath Ledger. Final yes. answer. Yeah. <laughs> Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger. Final answer. That is correct. A Damn. sweep of the general uh, category up three to nothing after the first round not our round yeah <laughs> general trivia is where you guys struggle everything else you guys are good um all right heading into everyone's favorite category movie synonyms 
I'm going to give you the synonym of a movie title. I love seeing everyone's reaction to that. Um, I'm going to give you a synonym of a movie title. Just tell me what the actual movie title is. This is for the ski club worth two points. Boiling container clock apparatus. 30 seconds. (laughs) Something in Time Machine. Hot Tub hot, Time Machine. Yeah, Hot Tub Time Machine. Yeah. That's my answer. Final. Hot Tub Time <laughs> Machine. Final answer. That is correct. Two points for Atta the boy ski Will. club. It Let's is go. two to three. That was the first one I ever understood. <laughs> All right. Similar question for the killers. Keep a three-point lead. Glacier Lifetime. 30 seconds. Uh, I think it's Ice Age. Yeah, sure. Ice Age, Ice Age, final answer. Ice Age, final answer. That is correct. No one has missed a question. All questions have been answered so far. <laughs> the killers have the one steal. It is five to two in favor of them. And now. <laughs> Straight juice, dude. What are you <laughs> drinking? Drinking. <laughs> drinking juice. <laughs> what kind of juice are we working with? Pineapple. Minute made pineapple. You just it. sip it on pineapple juice? Okay, pineapple junk. juice is good. The bottle. I'm sure it is, but I haven't seen someone drink a 32 <laughs> ounce bottle of it. Uh, I don't think it's 32. It's 52. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see if it pays off here. Uh, round three is name that film. I'm going to give you the year and then three actors or actresses who are in the film. Just tell me what the film is. This is for uh, the ski club worth two points. 2013, Michael B. Jordan, Octavia Spencer, and Chad Michael Murray. Is that Creed? 30 seconds. Michael B. Jordan, Octavia Spencer. Who's Chad? Who's Chad Michael Murray? Don't know. Michael B. Jordan's favorite actor. Is that Chronicle? 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 It ain't Fruitvale Station, is it? What's Fruitvale Station? Michael B. Jordan. 15 seconds. Whatever you think. No, Michael B. Jordan's not in Chronicle. I just don't remember who Chad Michael Murray is. Five seconds. I think it's, I feel like it's Creed. All right, Creed, final answer. Creed, final answer. That is incorrect. 15 <laughs> seconds to the other side. Um, I'm trying to think of what Chad Michael Murray has been in. I can't think of who that is, and I can only think of like guy uh, from yeah. One Tree Hill. He was in Freaky Friday too. I don't uh, know. Yeah. Need an answer? Nothing. Um, uh, uh, fantastic <laughs> Four. <laughs> fantastic Four. Incorrect. Marcus, you had it. It's Fruitvale Station. <laughs> Count it, dude. I thought that was a joke. What the hell is Fruitvale Station? Bro, it's one of the saddest movies ever. Yeah, it's genuinely a tragedy. So <laughs> I didn't know that. Sorry, Marcus. No, no, we're rocking with you, bro. You're better at this. I think Creed oh. came out after that, like way after that. 100%. Uh, the Killers can uh, build on their lead here. They're up 5-2. to two. Similar question for them. Name that film. 2009, Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, and Amber Heard. 30 seconds. Woody Harrelson. Um... I have a guess. I'm like, I had a guess too. I was gonna say Friends with Benefits, but I don't remember Amber Hood Amber Heard being in it. I was thinking Zombie Land. Fifteen oh. seconds. Okay. I don't mm-hmm. know if Amber Heard's in that. I can't remember. But I thought Emma Stone was. Yeah, she is. Uh Zombie Land, Land. final answer. Zombie Land, final answer. That is correct. Another two <laughs> points for the killers. Damn, they have not killed. missed. Yeah, this is a tragedy. It is two to seven in favor oh of the killers. Uh, we're hey, right, here, in... right here. We're back. They need a this is a killer <laughs> comeback. Sweep of the Oscars uh, category needed here for the ski club. Um, all right, here is your question. Who won Best Actor when the following films were nominated? Blood Diamond, Half Nelson, The Last King of Scotland, Venus in the pursuit of happiness. Dude. 30 seconds. I think it was the last king of Scotland. I think it was Forrest Whitaker. Dude, that sounded way too confident for it to be wrong. <laughs> I Has think to it, be right. 
I think that's it. I think it's Last King of Scotland, Forrest Whitaker. Okay. That sound good? Lock. Lock it in, brother. Final answer. Forrest Whitaker is correct for Boom. Last King of Scotland. Boom. Out of all the qu- – you couldn't get the two people from Freaky <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Forrest Whitaker. Dude, it's crazy. Wow. All right, it's four to seven now. Uh, Killers can – Go back to a five-point lead if you get this one correct. Similar question. Who won Best Actor when the following films were nominated? The Hurt Locker, Invictus, Crazy Heart, Up in the Air, A Single Man. 30 seconds. All lifelines on the board for both teams. Mm, I really don't know this one. I don't know this one either. I only have mm. seen Hurt Locker. So my only, only guess could be from that, and I don't think anyone won from that. 15 but seconds. Might have to. Do you want to lock it or no? Uh, let me look at them real quick. Do they think they know it? Do you think they know it by looking at their faces? <laughs> Five seconds. Uh, No, we don't need to lock it. Uh, Jeremy Renner, final answer. <laughs> Jeremy Renner, final answer. That is incorrect. 15 seconds to the other side. Probably should have locked it. Hit him, Will. I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, up in the air. I'm trying to think who. Do you know? Do you, can you tell us what year it is? No. Invict. Uh, oh, Guy Fieri. Final answer. Guy Fieri. Final answer. <laughs> that is incorrect. It is Jeff Bridges for uh, Crazy Heart. Damn. That's second guess. That's the Never first missed question, I think. Um. I guess Fruitvale Station, you guys missed that one. Um, okay. Not really. But, but not really. You said the answer. So, <laughs> uh, all right. It's worth two points now is name that actor slash actress. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Make it a little harder for the tournament. Here is your question for the ski club. Name that actor or actress. The French Dispatch, Primal Fear, and Glass Onion. 30 seconds. Um, oh, fuck, dude. Um, it's the guy from, it's, oh man, um, it's the guy from the Hulk and All he's lifelines on the board. Um, oh my God, Edward Norton, Edward Norton. Yeah. Yeah. Lock that in. Edward Norton. Final answer. Edward Norton. Final answer. That is correct. They're getting oh, back into this match. Cool. It is six to seven. Similar question to the other side. Name that actor or actress. Jumanji, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, The Power of the Dog. 30 seconds. Um, I think it's Kirsten Dunst. Um, All life lines in the board. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're right. Okay, final answer, Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst, final answer. That is correct. Another two points for the Killers. We are at six to nine heading into the plot twist round. Nice. Um, So this big plot twist round, it's either going to be a one-point lead for the Killers or a five-point lead. Um, So you guys can decide. I'll give you the category. You guys decide who represents your team, um, and we'll go from there. The category for this plot twist round is based on true events. So we'll start with the ski club. Who do you guys want to represent your team? Wait, is it like within like movies that came out this year or? All I can say is the category is based on real events. True I mean, events. you're you're doing it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so Will's, re- Will's representing the ski club. How about the killers? Kim, have you seen a lot of movies based on true events? Um, it's a great maybe question. I, I can do it, I guess. Okay, you can do it. All right, Cam versus Will. Can you guys Walk both just send something in the chat real quick to make sure it works? Yeah. There's Will. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, so once I'm done reading the question, you're going to have 45 seconds to type as many answers as you want. You don't get penalized for incorrect answers, and just don't hit enter. Because if you hit enter too early, it will uh, show up on the screen. Everyone can see it. All right. So we just put a bunch of – we can just – Put a bunch of answers. Yeah, list as many as you want. I'll take only the correct ones. You don't get penalized. And just separate them by commas to make it a little easier. 
All right, here is the question. And don't hit send, Cam. Don't hit send. Right, right, right. Name the last 15 movies that have been nominated for Best Picture that are based on real events slash people. Dude, I don't know. 45 <laughs> seconds. Uh... And this is the most recent 15. Dude, I'm mm. 30 seconds. And I was pretty loose with this definition, by the way. Uh, some movies are adapted, but as long as they're like somewhat based off a true story. Dude, I don't know. 15 uh, seconds. Five seconds till you have to hit enter. Three. Two, one, go ahead, hit enter. I screwed cool. up. Let me screen record that real quick. <laughs> Spider Man. All right. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty quick one. Captain Phillips, not on the list. 127 hours, not on the list. And Snowden, not on the list. Oppenheimer, first one by Will, there is on the list. That's all cool. automatically a lead for the Ski Club. Let's and go. That's a win for them. Come um, on, baby. We're back. Nicole Napoleon, just for shits and giggles, Napoleon wasn't on the list. King Richard was. Spider-Man, not based on a true story. <laughs> um, and The Power of the Dog, I didn't have it on the list, but I don't think it is. Um, I don't think I it was the best picture, there. but I threw it out there. It, it was nominated, but I don't know if it was based off a true story. It doesn't matter. You win anyways. Let's um, go. All right. We got a game now. Ski Club, eight points. Killa's nine points. Heading in to the letterbox category to start the second half. Um, each team selected a movie they claim to know well, and we'll see if that's actually true. Uh, Marcus and Will Ski Club, they have Talladega Knights. Here is their question. What shirt was Ricky wearing when he got mauled by a tiger or cougar? I think it was. Sorry. 30 seconds. Oh, no, you're going to kill me here. I feel like it was yeah. a beard shirt. Was it not a beard no, shirt? I, 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 like, I don't know how much I have to give. I know exactly what the shirt looks like. I don't know how much I have to give. What does it look be like? as descriptive as possible. It, it's got a picture of a woman and then crystal on the side right here. It's, it's like it's kind of black and white. There might be a pop of red in there, but it's like it's a picture of a woman and it says crystal. That's pretty good. I feel final like final answer. <laughs> final answer. I'm going to give it to you because you completely <laughs> described the shirt. It's a, I I don't expect you to crystal know Crystal Gale. Gale, but it's a Crystal yeah. Gale shirt. So I'm I am going to give you the points there. <laughs> you described it. It's it nice. is on the Crystal is literally written on the side. He complains about it. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, Good job. Right, so the ski you. Club takes the lead there, ten to nine. Up by one. And now you're up by one, and now the other side has the Amazing Spider Man. Again, I've been sitting on these questions for a while. <clears throat> what was the main dish during Peter's first dinner with Gwen's family? 30 seconds. Branzino. <laughs> final answer. Branzino, final answer. That is correct. Two points for the Killers. They're back up 11 to 10. We have quite the match so far here. Eight seed versus nine seed coming down to the wire. Round seven is zoomed in movie posters i'm gonna give you a very zoomed in movie poster just tell me what the actual movie is here we go pull it up real quick pixel of the poster <laughs> i try to find the most high definition some movies just refuse to have like high def versions mm -hmm. of their posters online um all right this one is for the uh ski club worth two points what movie poster is this from 30 seconds uh I have Good a guess. Hunting? I think it's Goodwill Hunting. I have a guess. What do you think it is? Oh, I think horrible it's a big bosses. short. Oh, is I, it I also horrible? like that. Big short or horrible bosses. Um, I like the big short more than horrible bosses. I'm just trying to think about who is wearing glasses in the big short. But I think Five it is seconds. a big short. I, I think so, too. I think oh. you're right. Three. Need an answer. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah. Final answer. The big short final answer. That is correct. On, Worth two points. They're heating up. 
That was Let's impressive. Go. Horrible bosses actually would wouldn't have been a bad guess because they have a very similar poster. Yeah. Like they're all divided up like that. Um, all right, Ski Club up twelve to eleven. Very high scoring Dude. match. I think Let's this go. is the highest scoring match for both teams already. Um, nice. So they showed up to play in March or yeah. April. Um, <laughs> all right, similar question for the kill is worth two points. What movie poster is this from? Um, thirty seconds. Boston Globe. Who works at the Boston Globe? Um, fifteen seconds. All lifelines on mm. the board for both teams. Um, I want to say it's like an alternative poster for like Wolf of Wall Street or something, but five seconds. Um, I don't. I don't know. You can guess it. I don't. I don't um, really think so. There's a bag. Um, I don't know. Um, you cut just, out real quick. Two seconds. Need an answer. So you can just guess it. The Wolf of Wall Street. Final answer. Wolf of Wall Street. Final answer. That is incorrect. Yeah, Fifteen that. seconds to the other side. Once I pull it back up, could be a huge right. steal here. What are we thinking, Marcus? My first guess was Office Space, but then I, the Boston Globe threw that off, so I don't think that's right. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of five seconds to, for an answer or a lifeline. What about like the, mm -hmm. the Ides of March or something? I don't know. <laughs> sure, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> Ides of March, final answer. <laughs> Ides of March, final answer is incorrect. It was Spotlight. Mm -hmm. Boston Globe was the big hint there. but. Yeah. We uh, remain at 12 to 11 in favor of the ski club heading into round eight. Uh, round eight is a brand new category. We've literally never done this. And by we, I mean, I, um, I've just had these two questions written for like three months and I want to use them at some point. So it's streaming wars. I'm going to give you three movies and you need to tell me where they're currently streaming on what streaming service. Ooh. All right. All right. Bet. Yeah. So this question is for the ski club worth two points to give him a three-point lead which streaming service is currently home to the following films joker the imitation game and minari max all of them well they're all is it they all have to be on one they're all on the same stream they are right? all on one some may be on multiple but all three are on one. Oh, you know it's on max max so we gotta include hbo or they're separate now yeah, Max, HBO Max, same thing. So Max, I'm, final answer. William yeah. Bennett. Max, final answer. That is incorrect. <laughs> 15 seconds to the other side. What? Um. God, what did I just see Joker on the other day? Mm. Hulu or Prime, pick one. <laughs> um, Hulu. Final answer. Hulu, Hulu final answer. That is incorrect it is netflix oh. they're all currently on netflix wow yep all right so ski club holds I think on, to their... on max and that's what threw me off yeah yeah I, th I think it or at least it was forever i don't know if it still is um but yeah at the time of writing that question um which it changes a lot so who knows but whatever uh similar question to the other side to take a one point lead which streaming service is currently home to the following films? Inception, Slumdog Millionaire, and 40-Year-Old Version. Mm. 30 seconds. All lifelines on the board. Um, Max or like Peacock? <laughs> I think it might be Prime. Prime? 10 seconds. I, I feel like Inception is on there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Prime, final answer. Amazon Prime. Prime, final answer. That is incorrect. 15 seconds to the other side. Shit. Dude, let's go Max. You like Max? Let's double down on Max. I got a friend named Max. Let's lock it in. Final answer. Let's go. <laughs> final answer, our friend Max. Max is incorrect. <laughs> it's Hulu. Dude, Netflix and Hulu. I didn't go. I didn't go too far off the beaten path there. Um, all right, so we stay 
locked at 12 to 11 in favor of the ski club. And now we are going into round nine, which is the release date. So I'm going to give you three films. You have to put them in order from release date. So oldest movie to newest movie. That makes sense. Oldest, youngest. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Here is, and you'll get 45 seconds for this one because there's a little more thinking involved. Kill Bill Volume 2, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and 300. All so, lifelines on the board. Kill Bill Bill's Volume 2, still. I think, came out. Can we use two at the same time? Two lifelines? Yeah. Yeah, it depends on the two, but. Can we use lock likely. and double take at the same time? Yes. All right, which one are you confident on? Um, I think Kill Bill Volume 2 came out first, and I think Charlie and the Chocolate Factory came out last. Okay. So we're gonna That's we're gonna the... lock we're gonna lock it and double double take. All right, using their lock. It's actually you're, a very smart yeah. move. You're and confident on good. Kill Bill going first. I'm pretty sure that came out in like the nineties. Okay, we'll go Kill Bill uh three hundred, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, final answer. Kill Bill 300, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That is incorrect. 15 seconds for your next guess. It's not going to be it's not going to be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in the middle, I don't think. 300. Or, I feel like I feel like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory came out in like 2005 and I I don't think it came out maybe it's one. Kill Bill What? Pick one. Kill Bill, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory 300 in that order. <laughs> Kill Bill, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, 300. Great use of lifelines there. That is correct. Come on! Two points for the ski club. They're at 14. Ooh, I got 11. the date right, too. You got it. Yeah, 2005, right on the dot. Well done. Um, all right. For the killers to keep pace here. Similar question for them. 45 seconds. Super bad, the 40-year-old virgin again. And she's the man. Um the man but what? um she's I the man was like 2005 fish what, which one is that it's with amanda Bynes and shanning tatum i feel like we should do the same thing lock and double take um okay. and i think the first answer is i feel like 40 year old version is first and then yeah. and then you know super bad or she's the man we interchange those for the two answers Okay, so our, we're going to do the lock and double take. <clears throat> and it's 40-year-old right, Virgin. All right, stealing their move, yep. Uh, super bad, and she's the man. First, final answer. 40-year-old Virgin, super bad, and she's the man. That is incorrect, 15 seconds. So then 40-year-old Virgin, she's the man, super bad, final answer. 40 year old version, she's the man, super bad. That is correct. The exact same strategy pays Damn. off. And we are heading into our final category. Real original, guys. Real original. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to set the stage, Ski Club as the eight seed, if they get this question right, they will be up three points. And that will be the victory for them. They get it wrong, the killers could then steal it and then win it with their next question. So, law on the line here, I don't think either of you have done this category before. We've been doing it the last couple matches. It's plus or minus. So how it works is I'm going to give you an event that happened in a movie, and you have to tell me at what point in its runtime that that <laughs> event occurred. Plus or minus 10 minutes. So you have a 20-minute window. Does that make sense? So you're going to give me a time. I'm going to give you the yeah. runtime. You give me a time. <laughs> You have to be within that 20 minute window. We're cooked. <laughs> All right. Okay. I like this. I like this. All right. For the win to advance to the quarterfinals for the ski club, at what point in its two hour and 26 minute runtime does the Hunger Games actually start in the original Hunger Games movie? 30 seconds. You have your okay, phone up right So it's late, son. Yeah, I think it's like. An hour and maybe an hour and 15 minutes in. I feel like the actual I'll, Hunger Games only lasts like an hour or an hour and 10 minutes. So, well, I was going to say an hour five. Hour five? 
10 seconds. So what about an hour 10? Hour 10. Hour 11. Hour, hour 11 what locked hour in. Is it? Dude, if, it, seconds. if we get screwed by hour 11, I'm going to be pissed. So. <laughs> oh, no. Should we do an hour 10? It's your final answer. I need the hour 11. Word. Hour 11. One hour, or, 11 minutes, and 27 seconds. One hour, 11 minutes, 27 seconds for the win. Marcus, you were dead on. It was an hour and five minutes, just like you said. They <laughs> win on! two points for the ski club. Let's go. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> this is – some people are either dead on. Oh, like you had awesome. it by the minute. That's crazy. That's nuts. Yeah. That's like the third time it's happened with this category too. I don't know how people's brains work. Um, Killers, there's one question left. I might as well ask it. I was going to save it for the next matchup, but – out of respect for you guys, we're going to give it to you like you play along this Thank category. You. Plus or minus, at what point in its one hour and 35 minute runtime does the bunk bed break in Step Brothers? 30 <laughs> seconds. Go out on top, guys. Um, First, I'll say that my guess for the last question was going to be an hour and 10 minutes if they got it wrong. So we would have had it. But all right. So this, this is like. When did the bed break? Okay. So they have to have become friends. friends in, yeah. In, like, I would say 30 minutes. Um, no, they became friends like within like the like first 45. Okay, bro. Uh, <laughs> um, 10 seconds. You ever okay. phone a friend if you want to? No, nobody knows this. <laughs> no, uh, um, I'll just say okay, 45 minutes. 45 and then minutes. Like maybe 10 minutes after that. Or no, okay. no. It's, it's so got to be like 50 minutes. 45 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 minutes, final answer. Final answer. 40 minutes, final answer. <laughs> They go out on top. They get the points. It was 38 minutes. You guys are right on it. That's pretty 38 good. minutes into the movie. <laughs> good shit. What a matchup. Yeah. Well done. Both this lived up to the hype. Everyone GG, was happy was this good. match. Um, <laughs> obviously, uh, you end season two winless, but it's not for lack of effort. You guys right. put a great, great foot forward, especially in your last match. You averaged seven points a game. You put up, what, 15 today. So. Not too shabby. Cam, uh, what are you going to remember from season two? Uh, well, I mean, like I said, I thought I was, you know, I'm just happy we made this slight comeback uh, here at the end, and we'll be ready next time, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we'll, whoever has the league in their hands, remember, the killers are ready. Um, yeah. Lindsay. We've been saying that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> they're always ready. Lindsay, how are we feeling? Obviously I'm not feeling, the result you wanted. I'm feeling pretty good about my performance just overall this past season, but especially today because I'm sick. So I thought I was not going to be locked in, and I was. Blue game, so. yeah. Yeah, this game Blue hyped game. me up, to be yeah. honest. Well, yeah, highest, to be honest, 16 to 5. Um, mm -hmm. Well done. And now uh, we head over to the ski club. You guys now have a date with Destiny. You can take down the one seed. They fly now. I don't believe you guys have played before. Um, I can double check that, but they beat us, so take them out for us. All right, we're rooting they, for they you did guys beat now. the killers, yeah. No problem, Thank you. we're rooting for Easy. you. So, uh, Marcus, how are we feeling about that potential matchup? Not I mean, potential I, matchup, I feel matchup. great, I feel great. Uh, feel like we're getting hot at the right time. Uh, kind of feel like the uh, NC State Wolf Pack this year. We'll probably get far, but there's no way we win at all. <laughs> it was the pineapple juice. It was the pineapple juice. Amen. Inshallah. <laughs> well, uh, if you guys to carry on the NC State metaphor there, who's the DJ Burns of this team? Probably Marcus. Yep. Good answer. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Big framed individual does his job. Love that. Love that. Well, we will see you guys uh, shortly as that will be the first quarterfinal matchup that we schedule. So one seed versus eight seed coming up soon. Everyone. Thank you for watching, Killers. Thank you for participating this season. Hopefully, we'll see you guys down the line, season three, whatever it comes from this league. And uh, we'll see everyone next week for quarterfinal matchup.